everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. In this episode of Mattressology, we are gonna talk about latex mattresses versus latex hybrid mattresses. So let's go. Okay, so a few years ago, we did a video like this about latex mattresses versus latex hybrid mattresses, and I, I, I never liked it. I wanted to redo it, because I, I was just never comfortable with it. I don't think I did, I did a very good job with it. For two reasons, I just, I looked at it, I was like, I was flat. I was like, low, low energy Jeb. It just did not come out the way I wanted it to. And also, for a couple other reasons is, we've had customers bring it to our attention and they felt like we were favoring latex hybrid mattresses over latex mattresses, and which is not the case. And I did not want it to, to come across that way. So I just did not do a good job explaining it. So I wanted to redo this. Hopefully we do a better job this time around explaining latex mattresses versus latex hybrid mattresses. But Gabe, Real quick, explain to me the difference. What is a latex mattress versus a latex hybrid mattresses? Pretend I was like eight. Okay, so latex mattress. So latex comes from the, the Hevea brasiliensis tree. So it's from the, the liquid beneath the bark. Ah, uh, okay, explain it to me like I was five, okay? That's, yeah, you're going a little bit too deep. Okay, Pablito, give me one moment. So, an all latex, Mattress is going to be made with only latex inside of it. Ah, okay. 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 So only latex. Okay. So that's an all latex mattress. Okay, I see. A latex hybrid is going to be made with the individual pocket of coil. So these are individual springs. Okay. So you see in, inside these, there is going to be its own pocket. Okay. And then you put the latex right on top of it. Gotcha. That's a latex hybrid. Okay. This is an all latex mattress. Okay, I hope that was clear. Also, let me show you what a latex hybrid mattress is not. So, this is not a latex mattress or a latex hybrid mattresses. And I can, the reason why I bring this up because some people say, you know, they have a latex mattress or they're selling a latex mattress for $6.99, but it's something like this. And this is more of a, a mattress with latex in it, not a latex mattress. Yeah. Same thing with, if you do a springs, they'll put foam and latex on it. And then they'll say, yes, we have a latex hybrid mattress. Mm, yeah. No, this is more of a hybrid mattress with latex in it, not so much of a latex hybrid mattress. So yes, thank you for your easy explanation. I hope that helped. Let's get on with it. Let me put these to the side. Okay, so yes, I hope that helped between the latex mattresses versus the latex hybrid mattress explanation. But so on the last video, there were six things that we hit on when you're looking for a mattress. And I mean, not just for hybrids or latex mattresses, but pretty much six parameters that I say that are really important to cover. You know, it was the comfort, obvious comfort's number one, make sure it's comfortable, which is very subjective. Back support, is it gonna support mm. your back? Yeah. You know, is it gonna be now the longevity of the mattress durability, or we like to say the comfort life of the mattress, you know, and then the edge support of the mattress, temperature regulation, like is it gonna, which one's gonna breathe better? And then also, you now, the motion separation for two people, which one is going to be better? Yeah. And then also, now here's the two that we did not talk about on the last video, the customizability. Mm -hmm. So can you customize it? Can you change it up a little bit? Which is unique for this, to some beds, you know? And then also like just the ease of use and shipping. So those are the two other parameters that we didn't talk about on the last bed. Okay. Is so, so first of all, let's start with comfort. So between latex mattresses and latex hybrid mattresses. Gabe, what would you say that, we know it's subjective, you know, because some people, one is gonna be more comfortable, but the feel of the mattress. Yeah, feel of the mattress is, I would say the comfort part. So I've actually had slept on all latex bed. Yes. And I recently changed it to the hybrid because I wanted to just continue testing just the beds. And comfort wise, I know you notice it, you get a little bit more of a, uh, probably the Presidio Soft, yeah. and then I had the Soledad Soft. So probably the Soledad Soft felt a little bit softer. Yep. I was able to get it softer. Yes. You know, on the mattress. On the which one? On the Presidio Soft. Okay, on the Presidio Soft. So the Presidio Soft, I was able to get softer. On the Soledad, I've got the Soledad Soft. It's not as soft as the Presidio Soft. Okay. I can't tell you which one I like more, because I I thought I liked my Presidio more yeah. when I first had it, but once I went to the Soledad, I was like, oh wait, I really like this one yeah. too. 
So that's subjective. Which one's going to be more comfortable is going to be based on, you know, you testing them out. Yeah. Right. And, and here's, a, here's another thing that's a bit more objective when it comes to comfort is hybrid mattress is going to have a lot more bounce and springiness to it because versus an all latex mattress. Because, I mean, latex already is going to have that springiness and bounciness because it is a rubber. So there, there is going to have a lot more buoyancy to it. But when you add springs, it's going to have that whole nother level dimension of just bounciness. Not a bad thing. Not a good thing some if you like a more of a traditional bounciness on the mattress then i would say the hybrid mattress go with the hybrid mattress if you want something that's gonna you're like gonna just like settle into you know that's gonna be a little bit of buoyant but not as much then go with the latex mattress they're both good mm -hmm. i sleep on a full latex for years i slept on a hybrid mattress i recently switched to our presidio soft the 12 inch one which was is really soft and i just like that sinking in a little bit better yeah. you know so but it, it is a personal preference but if you try it okay i like that bounciness or I want more of that stability. Those are the two things to factor in, making it happen, maybe the edge. The little or, hybrid. Or we like to say, um, or procreate another way. I would say the advantage would be a hybrid mattress, probably, but you could do the same thing on the on the full latex mattress. So is that is that family friendly enough? But <laughs> anyways, okay, so the second factor that you will need to pay attention to is the back support, you know? Yeah. So back support too, like that is also, kind of could be very subjective. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Gabe, any any take on the back support between the hybrid mattresses versus the full latex mattress? Yeah, it, again, they, both of them do provide a really good job at giving you back support. Yeah. I can't say one's gonna be better than the other. You know, it goes back to depending on what you like, right? I would say maybe a firmer support, you know, when you go to the main, medium to the firm, okay. you're going to get it more on the all latex one. Okay. So if we got the medium uh, Soledad, like our hybrid mm -hmm. or medium Del Mar hybrid yep. versus like maybe our medium Coronado or medium Presidio, you're probably gonna feel a little bit more support under the all latex one, I would think. Yeah. Just uh, from what I feel. Yeah. I, I, but they they do a great job. Yeah. Back support is also, it's like we were saying, it's very personal. It's a very personal thing. Some people's back is going to respond better on a latex or some are going to be respond better on a hybrid. Here's back support. I'm going to do, a, we'll put a graphic up here to show you, like you don't want it to be perfectly straight as a board, you know, you, cause you know, we, like we have a curve to us, you know, we all have this, you know, curve of her standing straight. What you want is perfect support is if the mattress is molded to your back yeah. you know that would be perfect support like if you're straight on a on a board there's going to be gaps between your muscles and your back and the surface and it's going to put a lot of strain on the lumbar area they both do a good job mm -hmm. now latex because coil pocketed coils they flex they respond they yeah. do a very good job at that you know and depending on the gauge of the coil some are going to are going to seek in a little bit more so full latex mattresses though they do a great job at conforming as well and at the same time they're pushing up and holding you up hybrids do the same thing but latex it does a great job at, at just conforming to you yeah so body type plays a big factor on this you know sometimes like on a heavier person i would put like less of that cushion and lean maybe towards a full latex mattress but a firmer one with but i've done, i've had both you know i've had 300 plus pounders on both of them and it, it was just different you know yeah so sure. so yeah that's the the back support and that's why we're such a big believer on like trying out the mattress trying. you know back support is number two okay so that brings us to the third factor when you guys are are factoring looking for a mattress is the longevity of the mattress yeah. or we like to say the comfort life of the mattress like we did a whole video on comfort life you can watch but how long is it gonna feel comfortable mm -hmm. you know is it or is it or had, not just breaking down but just comfort you know and gabe what would you say between a hybrid mattress and a full latex mattress yeah as far as the durability longevity man it's gonna be it's like splitting hairs it is right it it's, is. It, they're both gonna hold up they're yeah. both gonna be able to provide that that long lasting comfort because yeah. they're higher quality materials yeah between the two it's yeah it's it's a uh, to get coin toss yeah yeah and I've, I've seen like compression tests i gotta find it i'm not i don't remember where i seen it but they've simulated like five years ten years of compressions you know between between springs between foams between latex and the rate of it of the latex versus springs and when they were, were out at least with pocketed springs some springs are cheaper but with the springs that we're using it was about the same so as far as like the longevity rate goes that was 
very, that was almost a wash on that yeah. one. So, and then depend on how you layer it, you know, but if you put all things be equal, you just have the spring system and the latex core with just a three inches of latex on top. It's gonna be, yeah, I wouldn't say one is gonna be outshine the other one. So again, don't, that is one that I would say, just again, don't even factor that one in. Okay, so now that brings us to number four is, which is very important for a lot of people, is temperature regulation. You know, is it gonna make you hot? Yeah. Is it, are you gonna sleep cooler? Big that is, a, that is, that is a probably been the, one of the biggest trends the last 10 years in our industry, mm -hmm. is everybody's trying to make their mattress sleep cooler. Yep. So, and again, we've done videos on the cool factor and like breathability on mattresses, but between a hybrid mattress and a all latex mattress, Gabe, what would you say? What's the difference? What's the difference? Yeah, between the hybrid and the the hybrid, we'll sleep a bit cooler. Just go go right up front. Why would it sleep a bit cooler? Though? Yes, good question. Is because of the breathability. We always say it's not a cold material. It's how breathable the material is. Yes. Is your body heat able to transfer through the mattress, or is it going to stay trapped at the top? Yeah, and that's all things being equal, you yeah. know, because like there's a lot of factors: the cover, the fiber, the wool, yeah. the type of latex. But if all things being equal, we're using the same cover, we're using the same latex on there i would give the advantage to the hybrid yeah in that case not now i want to be clear though because not that the latex is going to get hot not i would not say that i would say like people think it's going to get hot like memory film that is not the case it's just not as breathable but hold on let me show you with the latex right yes see you still have the holes right your your, your body heat is still able to go through the material yes not as big as like the pockets with coils yes right so if it's an all latex right i mean it's just more material through it whereas the hybrid you got the the latex and you have the coils right underneath it yeah there is more air because of coils you got more open space there's more air inside the coil than there is going to be in then this right. piece of latex. Now, again, like if I had an air, you know, those airflow, we, we have one in our in our stores to show you, but it does go through latex as well. Just not as easy as a hybrid. Yeah. So a slight advantage, like on a scale of one to 10, as far as like temperature regulation, breathability, I would give the hybrids, I would give them a 10 out of 10. I would give these guys probably a good, a strong eight or a nine, yeah, like you it know? Good. So it's not that it's gonna be, and then also Talale is gonna be a little bit more breathable than sure. Dunlop too. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a whole separate video. That was like your number one factor in getting a mattress is the breathability. Then I would lean towards the hybrid side. Yeah. But if that's not a factor for you, temperature is not an issue, don't put that as the number one thing, reason to go with a hybrid. You know, go with your your comfort, go with, with your body towels here. So that, that's our take on the breathability and temperature regulation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that brings us to the fifth factor when looking for the new mattress is gonna be the edge support. Like if you sleep toward the edge of the bed, if you're on a queen size, you don't go to bed on the best of terms with your significant other, you need that edge all the way, what is gonna be the better one? Yeah. Or if you sit at the edge of the bed. Yeah, I mean, hands down, the best one's gonna be the pocket coils, especially hands the one we use. We say, I would say hands down the ones that we use, right? Not always, but not with every pocket coils. Right. But because of it's a much firmer gauge on the edge. It is a you firmer know? gauge, yeah. And it's a firmer spring, so it just does a better job at holding the edge. Yeah, but would you say that the full latex is gonna feel like you're rolling off the bed? No, it doesn't It doesn't feel that way. Because I had the Presidio Soft, you have a Presidio Soft. Presidio Soft. And when our kids come in the bed at, you know, in the middle of the night, and I would be sleeping on the, all the way at the edge, on my Presidio, I never felt like I was rolling. I had two kids in my bed, three, my three-year-old and a five-year-old last night coming to my bed and I was at the edge, but I did not feel like I was rolling off. And that's the thing, it's like sitting at the edge of the bed, I would say it's more noticeable on the hybrid. Yes, absolutely. Laying on the edge of the bed, you know, it's really not much of a factor because only the part that you're on is actually going down, you know, with like a spring yeah. mattress or a foam mattress, it kind of pulls you and like you feel like you're rolling off. Latex is unique in the way that it's only really the area that you're on is being affected. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't feel like you're being, like you're rolling off the bed. And we shot a video of the edge support. Yeah. You know, yep. which would be a good one yeah. to take a look. But sitting at the edge of the bed, I would give the advantage to the hybrid just yeah. because it is that reinforced perimeter at the edge. But I would give hybrid 10, latex eight. Yes. So 
that is the edge support. Okay, so now here is also a very important factor, especially if you're shopping with your significant other, is the motion separation. I get a lot of people just, oh, yeah. they, they'll replace the mattress, they love the feel, they just cannot handle the motion, you know? Man, when my partner, you know, when he just, when he breathes too hard, I can feel the whole bed shake, you know? That's what I, I hear sometimes. If that's, if you're a really sensitive sleeper, motion separation can be very important. Or if you, you know, if you guys go to like wake up, one person wakes up several hours before the other person, you don't want to disturb the other person, motion separation is important. Oh yeah. So Absolutely. Gabe, between latex hybrid versus an all latex, which one would you say is better? Yeah, and you kind of covered it before with the obvious comfort with, but like when you brought up the bounciness, Yes. right? The coils is going to be a bit more springy, has some more bounce to it. Yep. You're going to feel a little bit more motion in the yeah. pocket of coils than the all latex. All latex has a great job at separating that motion. Yeah, yeah, I mean, pocket coils are good. Good. You know, I mean, they they are the ones, if you guys remember that bowling ball commercial years ago where they dropped that bowling ball, I mean, that was a pocketed coil. Yeah. It was old Beauty Rest commercial. It was it was great marketing. It was good. But I would say latex gives it a slight advantage. Yeah, because once you throw the, the latex with that, with the coils though, latex does have that bounce to it. Yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, on that, I would say, give it out of a scale of one to 10, I would give latex a nine out of 10. Yeah. Even with our latex mattresses, particularly, especially our kink, kink sizes, it's almost a non-factor at all because you're so far apart as it is. But even on the inside, we actually put two mattresses on the inside, it's like two pieces of latex, mm -hmm. so you don't feel any of that at all. But I'll give, yeah, I would give a latex a nine out of 10. Yeah. I would give a hybrid probably a good eight out of 10. Remember if it was probably the best, I would give it out of 10, 10 out of 10, just because it's just the way it is. But if you're a very sensitive sleeper with any little thing can wake you up, any movement, then I would give the advantage to the full latex mattress. Yeah. So that was that is motion separation. Okay, now another factor that we did not hit on the other one, but I think this is very important to, to at least to address is the customizability of the mattress if you needed to do it. Now, now not everybody can do it. Not every manufacturer can customize or manipulate the fill. That's something that's pretty unique that we have the advantage and the position that we can because we have our own factory. But between, what do we mean by customizability, Gabe? Yeah, customizability is just, you know, what can you do and change out the different firmnesses and layers, right? Right? Yeah. Can you can you you know orient them in a different spot right from you know bring the top layer to the middle or yep. the middle layer to the top right so in that case I give the the advantage to the all latex yeah at least as of right now but yeah. latex yeah when you say all right now I know what you're thinking because yeah, yeah he, he, we're, there's things in the works that we're working on with other products too that deal with hybrids so stay tuned but in that case so yeah you can manipulate that comfort a bit more with an all latex bed like Gabe was saying mm -hmm. because there are more multiple layers in there the thinner layers but multiple layers that are in the mattress that you can change them around so yep. you know and you can go like Gabe saying earlier was you can even go a bit softer on a full latex mattress, yeah. generally speaking. So I would give the advantage to the all latex one on that one. Yeah, because there's know? so many different densities in latex. And yep. then when the hybrid, you've got that eight inch coil. There's only so much you can do with that eight inch coil. Yep. You can make it firmer or softer, but just not as much as what you can do with, uh, with latex. Yes, yep. So that is the customizability slide edge would be to the all latex mattress yep okay now another factor which if we're you know if you're moving it's not i want to put this on the top of the list of importance but it does come up especially now that we've been shipping cross country you know people it's just ease of delivery shipping and move, moving you know a lot of people are moving so gabe what would you say on that yeah on that one i would give it to the all latex just because of um I mean, it's so much easier to to ship that if you're if we're shipping across the country, delivering it. You could deliver it also in pieces too. I mean, you could do the deliver the coils in pieces, but you could just do it more with the latex, yep. and it's a lot more maneuverable. Yeah, you know. So I definitely give it to the to the latex. Yeah, yeah, it, it is a little bit easier. You know, it's, it folds up easier, easy to get in a box, or if you're moving, you could just unzip it, roll it up. It's just a little bit easier. Yeah. You know, it's, it's harder if you just leave it flat and floppy, but if you roll it up, there's a little bit more. Yeah, you can fold like if it's a kinks size or queen size you could fold it right and then yeah like a taco and yeah. as long as it's not done like too long keep it like that too long but yeah it's just just easier yeah that's the comparison between the latex hybrid versus the latex i hope this was helpful you 
for you guys. So, but to sum it up, if you guys are looking be between the two, I would highly recommend trying them out. Go to your local retailer if you can. Let your body do the, you, you know, be the, your best judge on it. A lot of times there's not a wrong answer when it comes to this. You're gonna get a good bet regardless. There are slight differences on them, but they're both gonna be good mattresses. They're probably gonna be a lot better option than what you're sleeping on now. So, but if you have the ability to try one out, I would recommend trying it out. Yeah. If you come to our store, if, you, if you're in the San Diego area, but yes, that would be probably the best recommendations. Yep. So yeah, again, I hope this was helpful. If you're on your mattress shopping journey, we put together some other videos. Might want to watch this video that we're going to put here next. And also if you want to see us open up a mattress, take apart one of these mainstream mattresses, you know, go ahead and click on this video. And don't forget to subscribe, to like, share, and just give us a call if you have any questions. Yeah. Hope this helped. God bless.